We're back now at the Central Washington Ag Museum at its annual Antique Farm Exposition, and I am joined by Joe. Come on out here. By it's Joe Ruthhart. Joe Ruthhart. Yeah. Joe Ruthhart. Mm -hmm. And Joe, what is your title here? What do you do? Well, I'm Besides just volunteer. I'm, <laughs> wear volunteer. Many hats. That's it. And I would think you are a antique tractor aficionado. Let's talk about the uh, Central Washington Ag Museum. What is it? Well, uh, two or three guys got together in 1984, I believe, and decided that a lot of this machinery was getting cut up and thrown out. And they said, why don't we preserve our history in the Yakima, our heritage? So they started this museum. The city uh, gave us the property on lease to put back here, and everything that's here was donated. This one here actually belongs to my cousin Larry. This baby's probably seen a lot of action. A lot of action. As has this one. And this is the 50. Now this is the little smaller version of the 60. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was for cultivating mm -hmm. and disking. They didn't use it much for plowing. And, and this, this one's a 40. This <laughs> is a 40 and this is your uh, orchard type tractor because uh -huh. it's low profile. Mm -hmm. And they used a lot of these in the orchards and actually they're still using them today in orchards. You're looking at at least a couple of million bucks worth of stuff out here laying around. Why do you think it's important to s save this stuff? Well, for heritage, uh, uh, and it's really older guys doing it right now. We need to get some younger guys involved, but it's, it's the heritage. You look back on the times when, when these old tractors, uh, these old tractors farmed 80 acres and, and worked hard doing it. Now they're farming two or 3,000 acres with the newer tractors. But you look back at these old Poppin' Johnnies and some of these old farm malls down here, and, and a lot of us guys cut our teeth on those things that are in the 60s and 70s years old cut our teeth on these things back when they were new. Okay, Joe, well, we want to take a look around. Thanks for joining us. We're back now at this more traditional agricultural setting, the Antique Farm Exposition near Yakima, Washington, where people show off and try to sell off just about every piece of old farm equipment you can imagine. Acre after acre, all antiques. Some for sale, all for show. Well, I'm going to see if this is going to get up and go. Might, might not. They're kind of temperamental. This remodeled John Deere tractor is a temperamental treasure for Joe Ruthart, who rebuilt it from scratch. There's your workhorse. It started up pretty good. Proud of her. <laughs> what do you get out of it? Just a lot of fun. Uh, the thrill of uh, collecting tractors is uh, actually you find it. That's exciting. See it in the brush. You go make a deal with the guy if he wants to sell it or he'll run you off because you're bugging him. But you make a deal and then you buy it. Then the fun is going and getting it, getting it home. You interviewed the mouth. These uh -huh. are Joe's brothers, Eric and Ken. Ahead, Together, Eric. they have some 30 antique tractors on display. Give me history. Give me how it used to be back in the old days, how grandpa and grandma used to farm and live. and. Uh, basically, all the stuff that we have up there goes way back to the beginning. Right so, back to the 30s and 40s, some of it clear back into the late 1800s. So it gives people an idea on how things were done in the old days. Man, you picked an old nut to do that. John Schilperort, maybe 92 years old, but he can still tame a tractor. Are you ready, Hezzy? John has been farming this area for 79 years and working this expo for more than two decades. What do you like about it? Well, this for one, I used to take care of the wheat field, but I turned it over to some younger guys. Mm -hmm. Some younger guys? Yeah. That would be almost anyone, wouldn't it? Well, probably. <laughs> John bought his first tractor in 1935 and has seen wheat production grow from simple binding and threshing to high-tech harvesting. These farmers take pride in showing off their prizes, but the expo is also a way to connect with days gone by, bringing generations together for a walk down memory lane. My father started this and, and sort of was instrumental in getting the club started some years back. He died about five years ago. and. My brother decided to go ahead and continue that tradition. Traditions here run deep for Terry Becker. Five generations of her family have worked these fields. This season, Terry is here with a heavy heart. So this is the first time I've been back. Um, 
And it's, it did take me back very nostalgically when I saw the machinery. I instantly thought of him and missed him very much. I have to tell you, at an antique tractor show like this one here near Yakima, Washington, I am like the proverbial kid in a candy store. I love riding on these things. And by golly, here you can do just that. I'm Paul Ryan. Thank you for watching. And we want to see you next time right here in America's heartland. And I'll see you up out on the North 40. Just <laughs>